Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to graph active exposures of a fund in Excel and manipulate the chart. In our example, we have the active exposures of a fictitious fund, which basically means the extent to which the fund's exposure, in this case the sector exposure, differs from that of the benchmark. What we want to do is illustrate this data in a graph in an appealing way. To do this, let's select all the data, go into the Insert tab, and we'll select the 2D column charts. As you can see, we currently have the sectors on the x-axis and the exposures on the y-axis. Since we have both positive and negative exposures, we need to bring the horizontal axis label further down so that the sectors are shown clearly. To do this, right click the labels and click format axis. Then within labels, select low. This looks much clearer than before. Next, we want to show the sectors from highest to lowest exposure to make it easier to quickly identify which sectors we're overexposed to and which ones we're underexposed to. To do this, we can filter the active exposures from largest to smallest. Therefore, this is one way of illustrating our active exposures. When presenting, you may either want to present the sectors on the horizontal axis or on the vertical axis. If you want to display them on the vertical axis, you would select the charts, go into chart design, and click change chart type. You'd select a bar chart instead of a column chart, and then click OK. If you want to show the exposures from largest to smallest on the charts, you would have to filter from smallest to largest because of how the bar charts read the data. Additionally, you can add data labels if you want to show the exact exposures. This brings us to the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.